the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, what you say? Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, woman, oh, woman, don't you treat me so mean. You're the meanest old woman that I've ever seen. I guess if you say so. Back. She cried out in ecstasy as the ice and their bodies melted as one. Wow. Now you see why you should learn how to read? <laughs> hey, boys, what you reading? Your diary. <laughs> Don't tell your father. He wasn't the ice man. Was he the egg man? <laughs> no. He's the reason I don't write anymore, man. I had a horrible day. Oh, I want to hear every detail. I was out shopping, and I found these perfect little sweaters that don't reveal anything until you casually reach up to fluff your hair. And it gives that little glimpse of belly button that makes grown men go, huh. Yeah! It's men's pain that makes it all worthwhile. Mmm. I love it when they hurt. And always remember, honey, it's not wrong. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> but then my happies were destroyed. I went to pay, and Daddy's credit card was maxed out. I could only get nine of the ten sweaters I so desperately need. And then it hit me. We're middle class. <laughs> I came this close to selling a car today. But it was almost 5 o'clock, and I didn't want to bother with all that paperwork, you know. <laughs> hey, Tiffany, did you do your homework, honey? Yes, Daddy. Good girl. Ross, you do your homework? Yeah, Dad. Good boy. <laughs> what about me, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, I know you didn't do your homework. Yeah, well, you should probably ask me anyway, or else it'll be bad for my self-esteem. <laughs> Okay. Ryan, did you do your homework? No, Dad. Idiot. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> what? Jack, the kids know. That wasn't my fault. I was 16. I was just twirling the gun. You know, showing off at the zoo. If that emu was so rare, they shouldn't have been selling beer so close to his cage. Jack, we all agree that the emo was giving you attitude, but, but Tiffany is depressed because we're middle class. She had to put back a sweater today. Oh, sweetheart, I am so sorry. <laughs> but I, I promise you that I will work my hiney off to make sure you get all the sweaters that you want. I could use a new pair of shoes. <laughs> it ain't Christmas every day, pal. Just fix them with something we have around the house. Some duct tape, some emu skin, maybe a panda hide. You know, you say that emu had attitude, but that panda thought he was too damn good to dance for marshmallows. <laughs> now he's dancing with the emu! <laughs> this is why a guy goes insane. Because you always got that alter ego there to talk to you. Flappy, how you doing? <laughs> Entertain me. I'm a stuffed bunny, not Heidi Fleiss. <laughs> I'm busy, Jack. What are you writing? It's a story, Jack. I call it Life in the Toy Bin. It's about a talking bunny and his good-hearted journey through life with his good friend, Jock, the loser man. <laughs> Say, am I in it? <laughs> Stop wasting your time and have a beer with me. There's too many books in this world anyway. But you can never have too much beer. <laughs> Listen, 
let's just say I have a book and a can of beer on a table in front of me and one hour before I have to go to sleep. Now, which one do I open? Well, I could just read the book all night and go to sleep thinking, or I could drink beer all night and just go to sleep. <laughs> Gee, tough choice. <laughs> Idea, that woman in my house. Oh, honey, the kids don't think I'm pulling my weight around here, so I know what I have to do. I'm gonna push you and push you and push you until you take a second job. <laughs> oh, what's this, Jack? Your resume? Don't forget to list emu killer under special skills. <laughs> wow. Jack, this is great. Oh, honey, this is really a wonderful children's tale. I had no idea you were such a great writer. Yeah, I, uh, write good. <laughs> oh, and look, written by Mr. Floppy. Oh, what'd you do, Jack? Dip it in ink? Jack, Jack, I just heard from a publisher who loved your first chapter. If the rest of the book is anywhere near as good, we're gonna be rich! <laughs> I was just down the block and I heard the word rich. Oh. I knew Daddy could do it. I love rich Daddy. I'm getting this really strange feeling inside. It's a good feeling, but it's sort of weird. It just might be pride. I have a feeling too. Wait. <laughs> it's gone. So, we haven't had bologna in weeks, huh? Oh, look. This book has made us a family again. <laughs> oh, Jack. I want you to quit your job and devote all your time to the completion of this book. Then who's going to support the family? I will. <laughs> Jennifer, Jennifer, I heard laughter. I thought someone might be hurt. <laughs> Who is it? Mom, I'm glad you're here. You always thought I married beneath myself. You always thought that Jack would amount to nothing. You thought I would have been better off marrying Rufus, the dog boy from the freak show. He really liked you. <laughs> He's the toast of Spain, you know. You. Well, I don't care anymore. My Jack is a genius. He's going to be a famous and respected author. I just wanted to tell you, he's quitting his stinking job with Daddy. I want him to spend all his time working on his book. Well, who's going to support this family? I am. You? <laughs> you get a job on what? Your good looks? <laughs> hey, I have skills. Anybody would be happy to, to hire a 35-year-old woman with two years of college and no work experience. I'll show all of you I'm worth something. This way, when Daddy's famous, there won't be any public sympathy when he tries to leave me. I'll have proof for all the lawyers that I supported him during his darkest days. And those dark days better be few in number because I don't plan on making a career out of working. What if I don't have a whole book in me? Oh, come on. I squeezed out three kids. The least you can do is cough up one lousy book. <laughs> Besides, I'm sure we can count on Mr. Floppy. Oh, sometimes he's temperamental. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> hey, Mr. Floppy, are you finished yet? Leave me alone. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Flappy, can I read what you've got so far? Leave me alone! <laughs> hey, Mr. Flappy, what are anti-cues? That's antiques. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. To the ignorant, to me, it's just plain annoying. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Floppy. What? <laughs> Can I have a glass of water? Uh... I finally finished my book. I can't wait to...
till they turn it into a movie. <laughs> Drew Barrymore, there just might be a part in it for you, if you don't mind sleeping with the writer. <laughs> don't worry, baby, I don't bite. <laughs> Think? I think it's the work of a sick, dark, boozed out, twisted little mind. Phew, I was afraid the average idiot wouldn't understand it. <laughs> Look, Mr. Floppy, you do realize that they're expecting a children's book. I was expecting to sleep every night on Drew Barrymore's little belly. But your hairy back is just as good. <laughs> the people want a happy ending. The bunny shouldn't vomit all over the little boy. <laughs> the bunny should uh, hug everyone and then say, I love you. Say, that's good. That's real good. Write that down. What do you say? You, sir, are the reason books suck. <laughs> you can't hurt my feelings. I am an executive. <laughs> Look, Jack, I will not prostitute my work. If I was going to sell out, I would have done it long ago. I could have been one of those Sesame Street sock-ups. <laughs> Spell this, kids. <laughs> or I could have been a talk show co-host. Say something funny, Jack. Well, I don't know if I can... <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, that was great. You are still the king of late night. hi -ho! <laughs> You see, Jack? And all I need is a catchphrase like golly gumdrops or holly golly molly, it's a gypsy melody. Jack, anyone can become a star if they have no shame or artistic integrity. Have you ever heard of Kathy Lee Gifford? <laughs> well, sorry, Jack. I have some integrity. I'm not changing a word. And to think I gave you life. Oh, thank you so much, Geppetto. <laughs> Hey, if I was going to let myself get pushed around by a stuffed animal, it'd be a bear, and I mean a big bear, who went, R, R. Now, I demand a rewrite. Let's face it, you don't have a choice. Oh, really, Jack? <coughs> Rose bud. <laughs> What the hell does that mean? <laughs> All right, fine. You won't help me? I'll just write this book myself. I don't need your stinking help to do it. <laughs> God, I can't wait to get rich and get out of here. I wonder how Daddy's doing. Come on, Mr. Floppy, please help me. I don't know what I'm doing here. I can barely read, let alone write. <laughs> Gee, sounds like he's doing great. Hmm. I wonder how Mom's enjoying her new career. <laughs> We're so proud of your career at Weenie Stick. Ra <laughs> rah, Mom. Now give us dinner. Got any mustard? <laughs> I hate working at the mall. I work with three 12-year-olds named Danny, Sandy, and Petty. They think they're so cool just because they understand tax. <laughs> oh, God. I need comforting. No, <laughs> oh, nobody understands me. I understand you. <laughs> Not exactly deep, you know. You shut up or I'm going to put you underneath my mother's feet. <laughs> Wonder what inanimate object I'll talk to when I get a job. I think I'll talk to a mirror. I think I'll talk to my shoes. I'm going to talk to my family and my friends. Normal. 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 <laughs> I bet you'll even live in Northern California. <laughs> you know, I work hard all day shoving sticks up these dogs. <laughs> Can anyone find a kind word for me? 
Mom, there's a hair in my hot dog. Oh, damn, I thought I got the whole rat out of the grease. <laughs> oh, Daddy, Daddy, sit down. Dad! Hey! Dad. Hey, wait, we got a seat for you. So, Daddy, how's the riding going? Are you almost done? What's it about, Dad? Uh, bunny. It's about a bunny. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's great. Very rich, very rich. What else is it about? Well, it involves, um... The coffee table. That's all I can tell you right now. That's good, Dad. That's good. Wouldn't it be cool, though, if the coffee table talked to the bunny? Yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Fred the coffee table. Well, shouldn't the name start with the same sound as the object, like Carl the coffee table? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Carl the coffee table. I like that. That's, That's a good one. J Jack? Could you name something after me? You know, like, like, Ginny the Jacket. <laughs> Jackets don't talk. <laughs> no wonder you sell hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a talking jacket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You should know that when you hear me saying we, we, that means that I'm playing with my buddy. I'm sorry, Dad. Mom's upstairs signing for a special delivery letter, and we think it's the check from your publisher. Did you hear that? We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be rich. We plenty of money for my little honey bunny. And you didn't think I could do anything right. <laughs> Sorry. Jack? Jack, it's the letter from the publisher. Oh, yeah? Did they love it? Let me read it to you. That was a very nice try, little boy. But just because books are for children doesn't mean they should be by children. Signed, Uncle Publisher. What does that mean? That means that he thinks I have promise, huh? They think you're eight years old, Jack. <laughs> I cannot believe I worked an entire week of my life for you. Oh, this is gonna take an awful lot of shopping to blot this trauma out of my mind. <laughs> and that means it's gonna take a lot of work to pay for the shopping to blot out the trauma that Jack caused. <laughs> now, you're due for work in about 30 minutes. Remember, sweetie, three gobs of spit per jumbo lemonade. What about the medium? <laughs> Look, Floppy, I, uh, I guess I owe you an apology. I'm sorry I meddled with your book. It's okay, Jack. I'll forgive you if you just let me frame that letter. Besides, I said what I had to say Send it out to a publisher. I didn't get any response, but who knows, Jack? Maybe one day my story will be appreciated. I just feel so depressed. Why don't we just have a couple of beers and go to the zoo? I hear they got a very rare duck-billed platypus. <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> <laughs> and thus, all my rage. And all the sorrows locked within me were suddenly tame. I woke up thinking I was a new man and vomited. <laughs> I was wrong. The floppy is a genius. But I heard a rumor that he was an American. <laughs> well, it is a lie, huh? No genius can be an American. They're all pigs. Wait. <laughs> I knew the floppy. You, old man, knew, knew the floppy? I did. Of course, back in those days, he was called Mr. Floppy. Yeah, some people thought he looked a bit like a dog or a bear. But he was a bunny. Bunny with a vision. And he never sold out. Silly rabbit. It's a team over there. <laughs> no, nah, that's just some stupid bear who follows me around. Arr, arr. <laughs> Sloppy, really an American?
really can? Mm, he was more American than racism, crime, and laziness. <laughs> Possible. We find Josie first to notice genius, huh? Hey, it's Mickey Rourke. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mr. Floppy, what you doing? Painting. Leave me alone. <laughs> It'll never sell. If I could make one small suggestion. A little child with really big eyes. That's what the kids are into today. No, they're still watching Friends. Excuse me, the Golden Friends. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. All these years, not one of them ever had a hit movie. <laughs> Floppy, could you at least put one of the eyes somewhere on the face? Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, all right, I'm going, I'm going. I've got to get to work now, anyway. Oh, reservoir, Mr. Floppy. Blind people. That's what the kids are into nowadays. <laughs> no, no, don't surrender. It's a cane, it's not a gun. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's for TV. <laughs> Dear Mr. Floppy, are you always so lovable and sweet in real life? Jim, Detroit. Of course, except when I hear the voices, man. Ah, destroy UPN, kill Party of Five, burn the cast of Allen, fatten up that Courtney Cox and serve it with a fine Chianti and fava beans. And kids, watch me, Psycho Bunny, after Kirk. Ah! <laughs>